Welcome to Yoga and You. Today we are at 136.1 Yoga Studio in Chennai and my name is Divya Rola. I'm going to speak a little bit about yoga and what yoga means, what the word means, what yoga means to you and me today. Yoga comes from a Sanskrit word yuj. Yuj means to join, to bring together. So yoga is basically a union of the body and mind and everything you do in class, whether it's pranayama or it's your asana practice, relaxation, chanting, everything is looking at giving you a unison between your body and mind and connecting the mind to the body. For most of us while growing up, yoga was primarily something we associated with sadhus and sannyasis in saffron robes, but thankfully that concept is changing now and over the last 10 years there's been a sea change in the way the world views yoga and at least in the west now there's a yoga studio every two blocks and in India also now yoga is finally catching up as the choice of exercise for most of the younger generation today. All of us are looking for happiness in life and according to me the very first step of Happiness is having a sound body, a body free of illness and on a very physical level yoga enables your body to be fit and strong and then goes on to the next level on a very mental level yoga helps you connect to the body. There are five basic points to yoga. One is proper breathing and you help correct that in class by pranayama exercises that we do. Two is proper exercise which is addressed by the asana practice that you do in class and the Surya Namaskars. Three is proper relaxation which is the most important thing given the amount of stress both children and adults are dealing with today and that is also addressed in class by Yoga Nidra. The fourth point is proper diet which in a yogic definition is a sattvic diet which basically is everything that is fresh, fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, um, milk, grains, legumes etc. And the last thing but also the most important thing in today's day and age is positive thinking. Without this all the other four points which I expressed before don't matter at all. So having a positive frame of mind. So once again, it's proper breathing, proper exercise, proper relaxation, proper diet and positive thinking. All these five points together make up yoga in the Shivananda tradition. I teach at the studio called 136.1 in Chennai and 136.1 uh, is unique because it brings together various styles of yoga under one roof. So it's time to stop theorizing yoga and it's time for some action. So in the next few episodes, you're going to see a lot of classes. You're going to see how yoga is done, various postures, what each of these postures are good for for you. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Thank you.